right, this is a weekly reading for Gemini. Um, we're going to start off with the playlist. Um, Green Day Holiday, See All Kiss from a Rose, um, Bee Gees, Stay Ali Staying Alive, um, Mr. Probs, um, Waves, um, let's see, Bill Withers, um, Just the Two of Us, and My Joe Lady. Um, yeah, I do get some random songs sometimes. I wanted to include them in this, um, reading this month, so we'll see how that goes for you, if it, um, yeah, if it vibes for some. Anyway, as you know, you feel like the Queen of Swords this week. Um, independent, doesn't need approval, is to the point, doesn't hide their feelings, isn't easily fooled. Um, so it's, it's a very Virgo Libra energy, so maybe you have that in your chart somewhere. Maybe even it, even in the moon, or, um high vibration uh, if it's past the 5% range or really close to a sun usually it does take over as you being more of a Virgo or a Libra sign so it could also be rising anyway the week's theme we have the six of swords the six of swords is travel movements in more positive directions, progress made, um, results are finally on the horizon. So it's very Mercury, um, it's a Mercury planet, <laughs> Mercury planet, Mercury is a planet. Alright, um, Mercury is like a career-based planet, so this is going to be career-based. Um, so <laughs> you could be recognized for your work, um ethic or whatever have you um and it could be a very enlightening point in your career um and you can also get a job opportunity too over this too um because it is the six of swords after all anything higher than a five usually there's like a promotion somewhere in there so um yeah it's a possibility at this point if it was a 10 i'd say yes but yeah. Anyway, the challenge for this week is temperance. Um, very Sagittarius energy, pure um, contentment, a peaceful home life, the end of arguments, the end of conflict, um, management of time and money. So, um, <laughs> you could have overspent um, during the pandemic, I think. Or maybe, you know, you, you kind of, um, are starting a new job. And, um, maybe you needed some stuff. Maybe you needed to kind of settle some tempers or, you know, pay back some debts. And, um, yeah, you might be out of a little bit of money. And, um, might be a little bit of a hard week. But, you know, um... The mixologist of mixing everything together um, could even the playing field once you get that under control. Um, and then we have lessons to remember this week, which is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups um, in reverse is you'll get what you want, but um, not what's best for you. Um, too much focus on status, attention, and physical pleasures. Um, it's a very Jupiter <laughs> energy. So if you're a woman, you're kind of looking for this in a man. But, um, yeah, it might not be the right one. I really have this deep feeling like, you know how puzzle pieces don't quite fit in certain areas? might not be the right piece in that particular puzzle for you, but it, you, you want somebody that spoils you, you want somebody that's nice to you, and like kind of, you know, jack of all trades as far as the bedroom's concerned, but um, yeah, it's just kind of like you're forcing yourself 
um, to be in a relationship like this. And maybe there's a lot of arguments about money. Maybe there's a lot of arguments about status. Um, maybe there's a lot of arguments about kind, kind of things that, um, kind of should have been discussed earlier on. Um, that's really how it feels. Anyway, um, that's your business, not mine. Um, so we have lessons that you will learn this week. Um, the page of wands, page of wands. Fun times, amazing ideas, thrill of a situation, um, enthusiastics, uh, a messenger of good intentions. So, um, hmm. I, I feel, I feel like this is gonna be like some kind of a trip, business related, or, um, could be something, it's something that has to do with a message from either your workplace, your manager, your higher ups, um, depending on where you work, it's gonna be something that's kind of directed at you, so it's gonna be... Um, yeah, it's kind of going to be like a confidence booster at the same time, probably a burden later on. So just keep that in mind. Um, because the page of wands kind of is like that, um, it, it, it's a messenger that like kind of fuels you, but it burns out fast. You know what I mean? So then we have a gift this week. The gift of the week is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is um, a Prince Charming, True Love, Knight in Shining Armor, um, Loving Intentions, Trustworthy Partner. It's a very Libra Scorpio energy. <laughs> um, uh, I'm not going to say anything. Um, yeah, so this is going to come out of left field. Um, it could be a re-entering of somebody that you kind of blew off in the past. Um, this could be somebody who's kind of, you know, they look good. They're, they're nice to you. You know, they're not bad looking. They're just like really nice. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's going to take you by surprise, I think. Um, uh, best of luck with that. <laughs> you might not be able to speak, so, um, good luck. It's a Libra Scorpio, so, <laughs> good luck. Anyway, um, Gemini, I hope this was enlightening for you. I hope, um, everything works out. Um, there's gonna be a lot of arguing, and if this other person comes on the scene, uh, good luck trying to find your voice really mean it. Love ya. Um, so if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, ideas for my next video, um, leave them in the comment section below. And yes, Gemini, Just know that you're going to start a fight this week. Um, <laughs> that's your problem, not mine. Um, anyway, I hope everything goes well and you choose what you want. Um, maybe what you need, but what you want. I, I believe that that's what angle you're going to take. And, um, yeah. Anywho. I hope you have fun. I will see you in the next video, Gemini. I hope this works out. Um, we'll see how it progresses, um, progresses next week. And yeah, best of luck. Anyway, bye Gemini. <laughs>